Hi everyone, it's Sally from the Piggy Room here, and I've been shopping. I only went in for a bag of nuggets, but you wouldn't believe how many things I've come out with. Anyway, this, these are the nuggets. They're the Burgess XL Black Currant and something ones. Um, I haven't actually tried them with the other flavour they do, which I think is mint. But as I like, they like these, I stick with these. Um, so that's what I went in for, into Jolly's Pet Stores which is a local chain of pet stores in this area. Um, but I also came out with this, barn dried forage for rabbits. Now, I, I know it says for rabbits, but I can't see why I can't give that to guinea pigs. It's only hay and grasses. Because um, he's had a problem with loose droppings the last few days. So I've stopped her um, loot sort of watery vegetables and also grass. And it's a little bit better, but um, I thought she need, I need to encourage her to eat hay. And I know they like this. It smells really nice. Um, so I thought I'd mix that in with a normal hay. And hopefully she'll eat more of that. Because she needs as much fibre as she can get at the moment. Anyway, that was £4 for quite a big bag. Um, one kilogram. So it's quite expensive, but none of it wastes really. And then the other thing I got in there was this, this corner litter pan. Um, Minnie needs somewhere now to use as a hay box because she does like lying in the hay when she eats it. But she hasn't got room for a large box, so I thought that might do. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll probably give it to Dylan as he's really go good at going to the toilet in the corner of his cages, cage. So I thought... I could give him that maybe and he might use it, you never know. So that was all from Jolly's. And then I went into QD stores for one of these step stools. I bought one last week and I think it's really good. It's much bigger than a normal step stool, but it makes a great large hidey house for the pigs. You can fit at least two pigs in there. Um, and they seem to love the one I've got. I've got a pink one. So I thought I'd go in, well, to get one. I ended up with a green one and another pink one. I don't know where I'm going to put them yet or who I'm going to give them to. Um, they're not suitable for them to jump up on top of because they're too tall. So I probably won't give one to Poppy because she does like to sleep on top of her step stool. And I don't think there's any way she'd get on top of that. Then I saw this fleece and I couldn't resist it. I don't normally like the fleeces with paw prints on because there's just so many of them and there's so many nicer and prettier patterns you can get. But I really like this one. I mean, it's black with lots of different colour paw prints on it. And even though I don't need any more fleece, I couldn't resist it. It's 125 centimetres by 150. So I reckon that'll probably cover a 5 by 2 cage. Um, I don't know who I'm going to give it to. I, I got it for Dylan, but he's so black and this is black. I'm just not going to be able to see him on it. So it probably wasn't the most sensible thing I've ever bought, but there we are. I couldn't resist. And lastly, I bought these two pink storage boxes. They're not very big. Um, I did think if the litter pan was no good for Minnie, I could cut away one of the sides of this. I don't think it'd be too difficult to cut that off. And then put hay in there. And hopefully she'll be able to get in there and lie down. Uh, if I don't use it for that, I'll probably just store their nail clippers and medical supplies in there, I think. Um, they were only one ninety nine for the two of them, so no doubt I'll find some use. Well, that's it. As I said, I only went in for one step stool and one bag of nuggets. And as usual, I've come back with more than I intended. Um, anyway, I'm sure they'll all get used. <laughs> right, okay, well, thanks for watching and bye for now.